I'm sitting here and I, you know, I, I have had a career where, you know, I'm the young person there. Like, I, I'm the cool guy there. That's not the case on this movie. I, I got the I'm the, I'm the daddy. So I'm like, <laughs> looking around at all of these kids, and they think I, I'm kind of cool, but not really. Like, well, like come they, on. we would hang out at a bar, and you guys would all go off to the side, and still, I'm just oh, like looking at them going, oh, come oh, on. absolutely that not. Right that that is not the sure. only one we're you trying around. to get your approval. We're like gathering to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, man. we're like, you think Walt likes us? You think we said something like that? Oh my god, yeah. it's like. <laughs> that guy's old. He's <laughs> so old. There are, there are a, a few films or a film that kind of comes along kind of in this vein every every kind of few years and um, and there's a an expected kind of outcome and 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 the people are in some ways kind of running away from something Alice who plays Mara who's my daughter I'm her father she's not running away from something she's actually running towards something else and and it's very difficult for her to leave I mean, you don't really know it's going to be okay in the end. No. I mean, I feel quite sad when I think about the film and just how hard it is to be your authentic self and then how the only reward for being your authentic self is usually that. Britton Daniel said something that was really, really smart, and it's, it's uh, the intersection between um, faith and feeling and, and just how... Uh, important these decisions are for people who walk a very narrow path of conviction. I think it's as well about like surrendering, you know, there's a lot of the idea of surrender in religion and it's sort of about also, well, how do you surrender to yourself, to your true nature? I think Britt and Dan really came at it with so much respect and I think reading my character, I just love doing like different roles and trying to mix things up all the time. Well, really the script was like a, a completely unique story about um, a community that I really knew nothing about and it was so kind of strange, but it was a, a beautiful kind of coming of age tale for several characters and, and then after meeting Britt and Dan, they just, um, they didn't even want to have like audition process, they just knew exactly who they wanted and I'm like, these people are good at making decisions, they have a clear vision for this, and they had great taste in other actors. And they were, like I was saying, they were, they were on the Olivia Coleman train before most people, so I think that's cool. Thank you guys so much. Are you ready for the ring toss challenge? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah. you're filming that. Oh. Okay, that's okay. You're okay. <laughs> oh, that was close, kind of. I saw yeah. where you were going, I saw what you were aiming for. Yeah. Oh. Oh! oh. Was that, Was that you? Did I just knock? Do we have to do replay? Did I just knock someone else? Yeah, we need a replay. Oh! 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 From the side! Oh. Almost! This is impossible. You know, I never liked this game, ever. Wow. All right. Thank you, Hollywood Reporter. Yeah.